An 88-year-old man living in a retirement community was found to consume 25 eggs each and every day. Every morning he would soft boil all 25 eggs and carry them around on him, snacking on them throughout his day. According to the man's doctors and the nursing staff at the retirement home, he had kept this 25 eggs a day habit for at least 15 years, probably even longer. The 88-year-old man was in excellent physical health, however, and had a healthy BMI of 24 and no history history of stroke, heart or kidney disease. His ECG findings were normal and an ultrasound on his abdomen showed no evidence of gallstones. His only complaints seemed to be some mild constipation, that and the occasional loneliness he sometimes experienced ever since his wife passed away. His doctors, to put it mildly, were very surprised to find this elderly man in such excellent physical health, despite his habit of consuming 25 cholesterol-laden eggs for the best part of 15 years. But the surprises were not over yet. The elderly man was also found to have completely normal blood cholesterol levels. And this was pretty shocking because the year was 1991 and these findings, well, they went against everything doctors, scientists and the general public believed about cholesterol back then. Back then, the idea was that eggs being one of the richest sources of cholesterol out there were bad for you because of their cholesterol content, each egg yolk containing roughly 200 milligrams of cholesterol. And for the majority of the past 40 years, it was assumed that the more cholesterol you ate, the higher your blood cholesterol levels would be. It was also known that having elevated levels of blood cholesterol significantly increased your risk of developing atherosclerosis and heart disease a major cause of death, accounting for one in every four deaths in the United States, or 610,000 lives each year. And an egg with its 200 milligrams of cholesterol apiece, well, that contained roughly two-thirds of your recommended daily intake. But here we had our splendid 88-year-old man consuming 5,000 milligrams of cholesterol each day, or more than 16 times the recommended daily intake. Yet this 88 year old man was in excellent physical health with no history of stroke, heart or kidney disease. And what's more, he also had completely normal blood cholesterol levels. I wonder why that could be. My name is Hesham Mashur and I'm a University of Cambridge graduate and student doctor. And this is my YouTube channel, Doctor Tell Me Why, where I get to talk about anything I want, so long as it's about medicine or health. And today I'll be telling you why most of what you know about cholesterol is information that's outdated and why eating more cholesterol doesn't necessarily equate to having higher blood cholesterol levels. But if at any point you find yourself enjoying this video, then please take the time to subscribe. If you do, you'll get to see high quality medical content here on YouTube each and every week. The truth is, dietary cholesterol, or the cholesterol you consume as a part of your diet, only makes about 25% of your blood or serum cholesterol. Hence, the vast majority of cholesterol inside of you right now doesn't actually come from your diet, but is rather made right there inside of you. And research studies have shown that while there is a remarkable correlation between blood or serum cholesterol and the risk of cardiovascular disease, the connection between dietary cholesterol and cardiovascular disease is tenuous at best. That's because your body is remarkably versatile. Studies using animal models and human subjects have shown that the more dietary cholesterol you consume, the less cholesterol your body makes endogenously. This means that for most people, consuming less or more dietary cholesterol only leads to insignificantly small changes in blood or serum cholesterol. Your body compensates for your increased appetite for cholesterol by suppressing the production, the endogenous production of cholesterol, and thus everything is kept in balance. Moreover, your body also makes use of feedback inhibition systems to prevent further absorption of cholesterol if you consume a meal that's particularly high in cholesterol. So what does all this mean for our 88-year-old man? Our 88-year-old man was consuming so much cholesterol, 5,000 milligrams of cholesterol each day, or more than 16 times the recommended daily intake, that his body was adjusting to all this cholesterol by limiting the amount of cholesterol being absorbed. According to some accounts, he was only absorbing 18% 
of all the cholesterol he was consuming. We also now believe that the endogenous production of cholesterol was also probably limited, severely limited in our 88 year old man which explains why he was able to maintain a normal blood cholesterol level despite his 25 eggs a day habit. And so, in summary, the current literature really absolutely does not support this idea that dietary cholesterol increases blood cholesterol levels, increasing the risk of atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. The fact is, eggs are truly wonderful because despite being high in cholesterol, they tend to be low in saturated fats, which, by the way, are not the same thing. They also have plenty of phospholipids in them which have wide-ranging health benefits and are in many parts of the world the most economical and readily accessible source of protein. I'm afraid that's it for today, thank you guys for making it the end with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please give this video a thumbs up so YouTube can begin recommending this video to more people. If you really love this video then please subscribe for more great quality content just like this. If you subscribe I promise to tell you about the most fascinating medical conditions, present you the latest groundbreaking medical research and give you top tips on living a healthier and well balanced life. Love you all to bits and see you all next Saturday.